Hello YouTube, Dawson Pony here. Today I'm just gonna teach you how to how to create a thumbnail with Photoshop. So this can be used for anything YouTube or anything else that needs like a main picture that and you want to make it look nice. So first of all, we're gonna get open Photoshop up. We're gonna click create a new document. I'm gonna name this one YouTube thumbnail. And for the preset, you, it depends what you're gonna actually do for what type of um place you're gonna put the thumbnail for. So I'm gonna only give I only know the YouTube one. So I'm just gonna do that. So I'm doing um so we click custom and open up pixels and I'll I'm gonna put one two seven oh I think. Hold on one second. Let me check the size for this one. One two eighty by seven twenty. So I'm gonna do that. One two eighty by seven twenty Pixel is again one to eighty by seven twenty. Now we're gonna to put the background contents background color and everything else is the same. We're gonna save the presets as YouTube thumbnail. Boom, boom. Okay, so we got our template. Now first thing we want to do is add a background color. So first go to edit fill and go over color. Now I'm going to be using somewhat of an orange, so I'm actually going to be using the one that I'm going to do here, so let me get the dropper tool. And so I'm using CD, yeah, so click fill, color, and I'm going to be using this one. Try to use something that doesn't, if in, case, in case you're doing an icon, something that doesn't like, ble same color as your icon, but but it's not. Because then it'll just look really bad. And so you don't want that. So I'm just going to be doing um, orange, because my icon's going to be blue, Photoshop. And click OK. And it will, when you just click OK again, it will color the whole thing orange. First thing we want to do is add text. So, click texting, and I'm using Bebas, Bebes, however you pronounce it, and it's um, it's really good. It looks really nice on um screens and everything. And so, that's what I'm going to be using. So, I'm gonna change the color to white. Make sure it's not the same as your background color, and it's gonna have to be really big. I'm adding it to 110. Because it's 1280 by 720. And that's pretty big. So now that I did that, add my how to. And I accidentally did, did this. I'm not sure how. So how to. And then I'm going to add. Make sure you make another text box. So we can add separate properties for um, it later. So now we put with. And I think this is way too big. Oh, I thought this at 110. I thought I did that at 110. And um, 110. So let me change this to 110 too. And let me re replace it. So there we go. And now I want to click how to. Holy crap, I put with. What the hell? I meant to put create. <laughs> Confused today. Okay how to create width is going to be later I'm sorry I, I'm i confused right now my photoshop just crashed when I was trying to create an, um, the same video and it deleted everything I just did so I was angry because it was just some random error so sorry okay so we got this how to create now I like to pull out the keywords so they look nice and they um really show what it's actually going to do and I like to make the lesser words I'm not trying to be textist or something but I like making the less um the le less important words um smaller so for a how to create a thumbnail oh, holy crap not 900 90 and just gonna put it a so it's small and you see it, but it means it's not a key word that you're going to do. Okay, next I'm going to make 
this is going to be a keyword, thumbnail. It's going to be 130 for me. Thumbnail. Put it here. And here we're going to add the width that I made earlier. And we're going to add the Photoshop. Now I can tell that there's not enough space. I'm not blind. <laughs> and um, so we're going to obviously have to reorganize everything. So as you see, it cannot fit. Oh, holy crap. Um, so right here in the how-to, we're going to um, make it smaller to 100. Same thing with create down to 100 and then so let me just place them in the appropriate places again I'm gonna have to move everything up and so a thumbnail going up same with with boom and Photoshop done now let me just spread them a bit apart so they don't look like they're squished together. And let me kind of there we go. Put it with Photoshop. Okay, so now that we're done, next to next thing we've gotta do is crap. Um next thing we gotta do is make icons. And I'm not sure if I said it, but we have to have have left space for icons in case you're gonna add them. So Here's my icon, Photoshop. It says recovered because I was telling you my Photoshop crashed. So I'm going to copy it. So um, first, obviously, size it to what you would think would be appropriate. And so after you try to size it, you have to obviously test it first. So you have to click Control A, then Control C to copy. Control A is to select all, Control C is to copy. Then click Control V, and it will be in the middle of your thing. Now check if it's a good size. And if it's not, just click the um, delete button, go back, image, image size, and then, and then redo it again. So mine fit fine, I think. And so I'm going to control A, control C, control V, and then control V again, and it'll paste it again. So, whoops. Make sure to be careful with that, that's already selected. So I got that there. Boom. Nice. Done. Next thing we've got to do is, um, I think that's it for, yeah, now we're going to have to add text um, blending options. So right here in the layer section, you have to click, um, right click it, click blending options, and this will pop up. Now, for the how to part, I would actually like to make the thumbnail and Photoshop look nice, come out, while the rest are nice but they're not like uh, I just put them in there and they because I'm not I'm lazy so for all of these that are not um, important um, I'm just gonna put stroke add a nice black outline to it um, so we just do that for the unimportant ones stroke now that looks nice so for the thumbnail part we're gonna add and Photoshop the two keywords we're going to add more. So when we go to blending options, um, check bevel and emboss. See, it already looks nicer, not just like 2D plain text. Add contour. Just adds a little like shading to it. Then add stroke again. Now this adds that um, black outline again. Inner shadow. Instantly makes it more 3D-like. Drop shadow. Adds a shadow to the back of it. So it's like it's hovering off of it. And that's it. Do the exact same things with Photoshop, bevel and boss, contour, stroke, and drop shadow. Oh, whoops, I forgot something. Inner shadow. Yeah. Okay, so, boom, boom. And so, now that we've done that, you are done. You can add several other things, including um, going into, like, making them different formations by doing um I think it's edit free transform just click on free transform is when you can um rotate it make it bigger smaller easier 
so you just click the layer like I'm gonna put how to edit and free transform and here you can move it around and I can make it even um I can make it sideways like, oh I didn't mean to do that and you can like add it here or if you were um like if you wanted to make it at the top here like some people like to do that not un not exactly underneath their icon but <laughs> yeah so um, once you're done click enter or click escape if you want to cancel that and you can just keep on transforming experiment with photoshop find other ways to play with your text make them 3d make them um, whatever you want and how to make your icons maybe better or something now all you gotta do is click file and you just click save save it as a .psd first in case you want to edit it later or you want to make it your default template so in, ca in case we just want to change from the thumbnail on photoshop to how to create um, a picture with photoshop or something else or and then after that you want to the best thing i would say the best file format would be jpeg because it's um nicer so like photoshop i would obviously save it as youtube thumbnail then you click save make sure it's .psd then you don't really have to do this unless you're going to open it on another computer with a different version of photoshop but just do it in case it doesn't really change anything then click save as again now instead here's all these formats that it can save it in like i said jpeg looks the nicest and is um the most compatible especially also with youtube and make sure the quality is all the way unless there's a quality limit like um a file size limit and so we just simply um make sure it's the right size it says exactly what it would be see so youtube doesn't have one as far as i know i always use 12 is the maximum nicest and you just click ok and boom it's saved so thanks for watching guys and have fun making thumbnails with photoshop and i almost created how it would look like kind of close maybe a little bit off but i just did it as fast as i could so the video didn't stretch on as long as i could so guys remember rate comment subscribe and comments for other tech videos by me and i will and if it's good and it would benefit a lot of users um i will create it and you can watch it there by subscribing and checking out my new videos thanks for watching check out my other videos and i'm signing off